Okay, so this member is asking that whether we can use the Broca's formula to calculate the idle body weight so that we can set the tidal volume on the ventilator based on the idle body weight. So this part has two questions. Why we need to take idle body weight or the predictive body weight, not the actual body weight and whether we can use the Broca's formula for that. So understand that why we need idle body weight or predictive body weight, not the actual body weight. Suppose the patient is very obese, like you say it's 120 kg for that matter. So the patient has increased in weight, the overall weight of the body, but the lungs volume has not increased in that proportion. The lungs has a fixed size for even for that 120 kg as compared to the 70 kg person. So the lung volume has not increased. Now, if we set the tidal volume, which is 6 to 8 ml per kg body weight, Based on the actual body weight, the tidal volume would have been very high. Like if for 120 uh, uh, kg person into 8 ml per kg body weight, if we set, it will come somewhere around 950 or 960 ml. So 960 ml will be very high tidal volume, which will be very detrimental to the patient in can, in can case barotrauma or other complications to the patient. So that's why we need to take uh, the idle body weight or predictive body weight. Now, which formula to use? Now, Broca's formula was a very old formula. Nowadays, nobody uses it, but still it gives a rough estimate of the ideal body weight. It is being replaced by the predictive body weight, which was used in the ArtsNet trial. And I think they use the divine um, sort of formula, some other formula for that, which is more uh, accurate in calculating the predictive body weight like that. So how we calculate? So we'll stick to Broca's formula. It gives you rapid uh, estimate or roughly of the idle body weight so that you can adjust the tidal volume. So suppose um, it is based on the height and the gender. So the formula is height in centimeters minus 100 and for males you then subtract 10% from uh, this value and for women you subtract 15% from this value. Suppose my height is 5 feet uh, 10 inches. So it will come around 178 centimeters. So 178 centimeters minus 100 comes to 78. And then 10% of this will be somewhere around 7.8. So roughly 78 minus 7.8 comes to 70 kg. Now 70 kg into 8 ml per kg body weight. This is how you calculate the um, uh, tidal volume for that person. So and for females, you decrease the 15%. So this is how you calculate. So it's still Broca's formula give you a rough estimate of ideal body weight can be used, but then you need to use predictive body weight, which is a more accurate version from the Arsenal trial. I hope this clarifies. Do read more about it. Thank you.